What's up, my traders? Yeah, ma'am. Been MIA a couple of days. Sorry for that. Got some uh, videos up here. I put, I got one trade day in uh, this video, but I'm going to put another one up back to back. And we'll have to have two days in that one. So uh, just stay tuned. Thank you. Yo, what up, traders? What's up, my traders? Jumped in there at 3.37. Sorry for these late videos. Setting the intro. This has been uh, very busy. I've still been trading. I just ain't edit my videos or anything like that. So really just been tired. So try to get back on it. Try to get back into a uh, schedule again. Doing them every other day, every day. So I'm done. I'm in here at uh, 3:37. Tape very slow it means the volume is drying up. Still in. This this day was last Thursday. And I'm gonna uh, make I'm gonna do a double video and put my other videos out today too. So I just took it off right there. Like just took it off. I think I have, I have a lot of today's a red day too. Very small red day. On this on Thursday, six ten, red day. Jumped in there at twelve fifty eight for the push up. Kind of a early entry, didn't even uh come back low enough past the 50 mark and that's why I'm getting dumped on. And that's why I took an ad there. But my first ad should have been at that 47 mark when the ax came down there. Should have took that, should have took it, I should have, should have, that should have been my first entry. So anyway, I added there. Now I'm down at, now my average is uh, 1252. And took it off for a 16 game. Scalped it. It was, uh, I know the reason why I did that because I had a bad entry. So, yeah. Looking for another dip, pull, pull pullback. It's overextended. While it's overextended, look at the pocket. It dipped below 12.50. I got the dip, but yeah, like it's not that good of a trade. This, this, the stock is overextended right now. The candle on the three-minute chart. So really, I should have let that pocket fill up. Let the body try to come down here to the $12 level. Take a add it. Take a take a, my first position here. Now this trade is going to work out. I think I think I do get money on this trade. It works out. But still, like uh, like the optimal position would have been at the twelve dollar level. And sometimes it'll, it'll never get there. Just gotta wait for the next one. So I'm doing it again. Jumped in at twelve ninety seven. Three cents below whole dollar support level. Try to get it back over. Like this stock's been uptrending so strong, you didn't really get one of those good, good pullbacks. So you did have this kind of just jump in there on the little on the micro pullback. Don't really like pulling in on micro pullbacks. So I took that off for like five cents, or twenty three dollars on a day. See, they go that pullback I was talking about. Well, not to the twelve dollar level, but it came to the twelve fifty level. So jumped in there at 1269, still early. Like this is early. It didn't come down to the 1250 level. <clears throat> so I'm taking all these ads. I feel like maybe I'm just, it's, it was like a lot of opportunities today and I had a lot of good setups. And instead of just being patient for them and just waiting for it, the trade to come to me, I was kind of jumping in forcing these trades. Like, like I said, like it worked out. Like this trade did work out. It did pull back enough, but the ideal spot would be at that 1250 level. You know that even though that trade did work out. Jumped in there again, twelve ninety one, right back under thirteen, trying to play it back over. So green's coming in, but it's coming in slow. And you see, and you see, let's let's. Oh, I ain't gonna say it because I don't really remember this day. But it looks like I'm going to get dumped on. I'm at 1291. And you see and you see why I'm getting dumped on? Let me show you why I'm getting dumped on. Because it's overextended. Like, just like, the, these plays here work. These plays here work. When, when the stock was overextended and I took these trades, it worked out. But they weren't good optimal trades. Because it doesn't always work there. It doesn't always work there. The, the the ideal spot and the the most I guess positive expectancy spot to get into right now this stock 
1250 level. Why? It's, just, it's a, a support. It's just a, a psychological support level. We have the 9 EMA add-in right there too. Nothing here. On the, see, on the 15 minute candle is extended over here. But I'm looking at 3 minute for right now. Now I want to play that bounce because we have wicks here. So I, it's just I'm just in too high. That, it, it needs to pull back. Like, I mean, way too high. It's overextended. And you see how I'm taking the same trade as I, as I did here? And I'm going to get dumped on here. I'm in at 12.91. Looks like it's slowing up. Look, see? See that? See, I came all the way down close to that 12.50 level. And now it's actually starting to get a reaction. You start to see a wick on the bottom. Starting to bounce. That should be my first ad. You see that? Like, this should have been... I should... Like, it's a 10 cent spread. Really shouldn't be messing with it. But... If I'm looking into a trade, now is where I need to be. Okay, I'm going to get in the trade. Like, these two trades here were lucky trades. This was a lucky trade. That was a lucky trade. Because it came back here, and it didn't pull back. The 9EMA was not right here. It was, like, down here somewhere. And this one here is definitely overextended. Look how overextended it is here. 9EMA has finally caught up to it. So pull back there, fill it filled the pocket, filled the air pocket. Now I need time. Now I need to be entering the position. I, I took an ad there, but I should have been. That should have been my first entry. Get dumped over a bit. Two hundred shares, twelve sixty six. And like, like really, it the that the fact that the stock is making lower low when it made this lower low off of the uh off of an um off of the next of the next oh ugh. once it made this lower low after this um over extens uh, this over extension here so she look at the 15 minute chart and see what this candle was and how how extended was it on this chart and it's extended it's it, it's going to bleed out it needs to bleed out to at least the 12 dollar to the 12 dollar level or to this VWAP you see how it's just bleeding now it's going to bleed out some more so really my ideal entry should be at the $12 level because that 15 minute candle is red. So, but it is, but it is holding up though. It's, it, it held up. It held up. So, I'm okay. But if that stock kept going lower and lower and lower, then down here the 15 minute candle would have been a, a, a good buy spot. Look at the volume. Look how slow it is. Look at look at it. Look at the volume in the tape, how it's not moving. And then look down here at the bars. It was all high. Lower. 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 Low. And now it's trying to do something because it's buying pressure. Now the volume's coming in right here because it's buying pressure. Took it off there at 1050. I mean, yeah, I mean I'm up 1050. So they go to reversal. Bought a little breakout candle. And then actually no, oh see, see that? I took it off. See that. I mean, I got kind of pissed off right there. I, either I think I fat fingered this trade, or I took it off for a loss. Twelve. I mean, at twelve sixty six. Yeah, I took this off for a loss, right? And then actually reverses on me. This volume is is a, is abysmal, man. It's bad. So then, a couple minutes later, three minutes later, it starts reversing. And I saw that, and this right here is this. This is not my strategy at all. I don't take trades like this. I don't buy breakouts like this. And that's why I'm getting dumped on. Cause I'm not good at buying breakouts like this. This is not my strategy here. I, this is like a, this is a FOMO trade here. This is FOMO. I was mad. I FOMO'd into this trade. That's why I hate buying breakouts, man. Hate buying candles on the way up. Got a res coming through. Hidden seller at twelve eighty five. But he got taken out. He's at twelve eighty three. He's at he's at twelve eighty. Got taken out. And I just took it off, man. It was too much selling. Too much red. Too much selling. I was in too high. So it came back down against me, looking for the next trade. Same stock. Jumped in at twelve forty. Look at the tape started acting funny. I don't know. I don't, this is not my internet. This is the 
the, the, the tape, man. The stock. So I jumped in there at 12:40, and this is this isn't a good trade anymore because my like my strategy is not going to work as as good anymore because the stock is downtrending. Like my strategy works the best when the stock is uptrending. Like that's the most optimal dip buys, pullbacks you can buy is when the stock is uptrending. But now it's downtrending, at least temporarily. And this could be the backside. I think that I think I stopped trading this after this too. Yeah. So just just look how look how heavy it's acting. Just wait for it to go up. Just waiting. And I don't think I get it. I don't think I get it. Getting dumped off. Sorry, y'all, man. I'm I'm looking at my phone here. I want to put. Uh... Sorry, y'all. Like this, this is a stupid trade, man. Ah. Uh. I should have cut this shit off. This. <coughs> Sorry about that, man. I was looking at my phone, but this is a, look at this. Look at look at it. That. that right there should have been the signal for me to sell, and I saw all that green go through. It's finally getting a little bounce, but I don't really like seeing it like that. Those that green like that. It's gonna drop. So market open. Took it off for a loss. Like that was a. Man, that was a that it was a stupid trade, man. Once it broke that twelve dollar level, this right here, once it broke the eleven eighty nine fifty EMA, I should have gave it up. Took it off for a loss, down fifty five dollars on a day. Jumped in there six thirty nine. We got some volume. Got the dip, but yeah, got got got, got some volume, man. Getting dumped on. Ah. Took an ad spot, 6.32. 50 more shares. Should I should I should have just waited to for it to come down to that sixth level? Not what I should have waited for. And I don't know why I took that trade at that my first entry there because it didn't crack above 50. So I shouldn't have taken the trade. I think I was just trying to play it. I was trying to play another breakout. I think I was trying to do another breakout type of play. But it actually does rip and I get it. Yep. Made $45 of that play. No more $10. down $10 on the day. I made that $670. I should have just quit for the day once I huh, once I got all my money back. Small loss like that. But I made that $670. I made high. Look how fast the tape is moving. It's, it's volume. There's more volume in this stock than the last one. Seventies. Struggle to go up. Tape slowing up. Reds are coming through. There's more reds consistent now. But seventy is still on the ass. As long as that seventy guys on the axe, you got a chance for it to break. Didn't happen. Got a little ass spot here. Jumped in at 653. Got dumped on. Had to add some more. Had another 50 shares at 646. Still getting dumped on. Starting to bounce. Starting to bounce. Still getting dumped on. 636 now. See how the tape just paused and froze like that? Could be a reversal. 
still holding on. Still holding on. I, I, even, I, I had to add again. And I took it off for a small loss. So, yep. Down $50 again on the day. Jumped in there, 63900 shares. Oh, definitely overtraded now at this point. Down $50. I need to just call it a day. $39. Yeah, this is a lot of struggling today. Still pushing up. Then get, then get that pop over 50. He's coming up on the axe. Sevens. Got some greens coming in. Boom. Got it. Should have held out on that, that one a little longer. Should have held on that one a little longer. So, down $37 on the day. Got the little, it's a little washout long type of play, type of dip play. But, um... It's just not that good. The volume is just, I don't know, it's just too low. Like, it was it was a good entry. It was a perfect entry. Perfect entry, but they don't work out all the time, you know. It's just, just as part of the percentage, the winning percentage. Like, you're going to have some loose trades. You're going to have some losing trades. It's part of you. That's part of your uh, percentage. So, I'm in 1172. Getting dumped on again. In at 1166 now, took an ad spot. Look at it, it's finna halt to the downside. I should have cut this stop at 1150. But I don't like cutting off at those levels and stuff, because those where it likes to like to, re that's where it likes to reverse and bounce at. So I try to hold on to it and I make mistakes by not really having a defined stop loss. You get better at that too before I go on my live account. I have a stop loss. Where I'm gonna get out at. What was that? Well, I mean, damn, I lost all that money back. Yep, 1162, 300 shares. Down $37. Uh, I must edit that wrong. I didn't, I didn't get my ad. I didn't. I, I, we're gonna see. We're gonna see after this where I'm up. How much money I'm up by. Took it off there. Down eighty-eight dollars. Six eighty-nine. Jumped in there again. I'm telling you, man, it's, I, it's, it's, I was doing some sloppy trading today. Sloppy trading today. Sloppy trading. This wasn't that good of a trade. Look at that wick, man. Then it, then it was overextended. The wick overstand. Like this should have been my first trade down here, man. Below 650 should have been my first trade. Like, I should be entering at 647 or something. In the 668. But this stock is it just looks weak. That that wick made it look weak. And the 15 minute candle over there is red. Should not be looking at this stock right here. It's in 663, starting to bounce. Took it off for a little loss, $11 loss. So, yep, lost $100 that day. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.